is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis coming to you on a quick video. I wanted to let you guys know I got some new merchandise available, not just t-shirt anymore. I got different type of t-shirt, different type of shirts and logos that you can purchase on my spread shirt and also hoodies now. We have expanded and added more to the channel and more merchandise for the brand. Thanks for supporting. It will be in the description and the links will be in the comment section below. Thanks for helping me and supporting the movement. Quinn Wade Basketball Analysis, I'm going. What is good, YouTube? Quinn Wade <clears throat> Basketball Analysis coming to y'all a quick video. Today we're going to talk about Chris Paul going to the Knicks. It's not official that he's going to the Knicks. It's not official that he will even be traded to the Knicks. It was just a rumor about him getting traded to the Knicks. I just wanted to add my point and how I feel about it. Um, the Knicks has been probably the worst rant organization. There's some other team that's been in the competition with them. But for them to be a non-playoff team and only really making it once, and they even struggled to do that, and the fact that they haven't been able to recover. They traded Porzingis. Now they have a bunch of young guys, and they don't really have the biggest um, anticipation for none of those guys. Kevin Knox looks like a solid player um, at best. In the future, he doesn't look like the franchise guy that they'll get in the top 10 that, that they thought they would get in the top 10, but we don't know. His career can always change, or he might even leave the Knicks and become better. So we don't know how his career is going to go because he still is very, very young. Dennis Smith Jr., was a guy that had a lot of hype. He started to decline as his draft value did too. His ability not to shoot, not being a great defender, not being a great playmaker, really hurted his value and it ended up showing up in the NBA. He has been inefficient. He hasn't been the greatest finisher. He hasn't been the greatest playmaker and he doesn't play defense and he, and he just doesn't have the complete package to be a franchise point guard right now. Alonzo Trier, probably one of my favorite young players on the Knicks. The problem with him, he doesn't get enough playing time. He can score. He can handle the ball. He can finish. He has the floater game, has the three game, has the ability to score off the dribble. It just he doesn't get enough playing time and enough opportunities to show what he can really do on, at the best of his level. Like If you're coming off the bench one game or not playing at all the next game or not playing that much, it's hard to build up that that confidence and that consistency when you're not playing on the court against the best players in the world. So when he does play, he plays very well. He has been a solid player, and he's a bright spot for the Knicks. The problem is getting on the court for him consistently. And if he doesn't do that, he's just going to be another good player that never really realized his potential and a lot of it is because of the coaching and the organization but a lot of it is this just isn't the greatest fit for him so I think another team will take a gamble I'm not saying Alonzo Trier is going to be a superstar but Alonzo Trier did show signs that he can be a quality player um, and probably a quality starter depending on what team he goes to and how they utilize him because the guy can play you look at Mitchell Robinson this is another guy that fits right well with Chris Paul being able to finish around the rim, set good screens, and giving Chris Paul space to knock down the mid-range, giving Chris Paul space to hit the threes and hit his stop, pop, jumper, and his floaters. So, Mitchell Robinson, we've seen him with DeAndre Jordans and uh, Tyson Chandler's with Chris Paul. He can really turn Mitchell Robinson into something special, and he can get on him to help his development go a little bit smoother. But... The problem what you see with this team is they have a lot of some veterans on this roster and a lot of young players. They have no identity. That's one. We don't really know what the Knicks are trying to do. We don't really know how they want to play. We don't really know how to get the best out of this team just because they're not built properly. They don't have the right players and the right age and the right shooting. They don't really have the roster figured all the way out. So first you have to get Chris Paul. That's going to be a problem because his contract is so high. Is he worth the money? Yeah, because Oklahoma City traded Russell Westbrook and they're still in the playoffs and they're a top five seed in the Western Conference. So, yeah, he can still play well. He can still be an all-star caliber player because he was an all-star this year. He can help make the young guys better by making their job easier, by giving them good passes, simplifying the offense and just getting them then their skill sets which really just make you a better team and have a better identity and better have a good playmaker that can make decisions in the fourth quarter for the better of the team. This is a guy that don't turn the ball over that much, a guy that can score if you give him the space and a guy that can set up everybody on the court. So Chris Paul makes sense. The problem is he's just too old. Well, not only do you have to come up with the cap space to trade for him, you also have to have somebody for him to want to come. 
Mitchell Robinson, he's good, but you're not winning no title. If I'm Chris Paul, I'm trying to be on a team that's going to be guaranteed to make it to the playoffs. We don't know what they will have to give up. We don't know who they're going to give up just to get Chris Paul. So that would change how the roster is, and we don't really know the pieces because it will never announce who would be traded in that trade if it would happen. So we don't know how the roster will look. We don't need to. We won't know what they have changed with the roster. But all I can say is. Chris Paul went to OKC. A lot of people counted them out, even me, and they lived and blew away the expectations that we thought that they would be. Only the Oklahoma City ride or dies felt like they would be a good team, and they are fans, so that's how they're supposed to feel. But other than that, I don't really think the Chris Paul to New York makes any sense, um, especially when you have to have another player with Chris Paul if you want to be a legitimate team. Adding Chris Paul, you will be a good, you will go from a bad to a good team. But how long would that last? Can Chris Paul stay healthy? How how much are you going to depend on him? How are you going to change the roster now that he will be on the roster? And it's just a lot of things that will have to go on. But if I had to be honest, if I'm Chris Paul, do I really want to go to New York? Carmelo went to New York and really accomplished nothing when it comes to playoffs and championship success. Never even get into an Eastern Conference Finals. Never even get into an NBA Finals. And he had better talent around him than what Chris Paul would have if he come now. So it really doesn't make complete sense from the Chris Paul perspective. It makes sense for the Knicks perspective because we add in Chris Paul will make you better. Majority of the teams that Chris Paul goes to, he went to New Orleans, made them better. He went to Houston. They became the number one seed in the 65-win team. He went to Oklahoma City. They went from a team that everybody counted out to now they back in the playoffs in the top five seed in the West. He makes teams better. He just knows how to win. He knows how to compete, and he knows how to get the best out of his teammates, whether they like his personality or not. Chris Paul demands greatness, and he, he leads by example, and he goes out there and do whatever he can to play at an elite level, and that's respect that we will all get him. That's something that the Knicks don't do. That's something that the Knicks do need, and they need somebody to really help them close in fourth quarters. Check, check, check. Chris Paul can do those things, but what are you going to do for Chris Paul? If he really gets traded to New York, what can you do to capitalize on this guy that you just got that can change your franchise for the better? You had to put the talent around him, and Knicks have just had trouble putting championship talent together in New York. Brooklyn did it, but they're struggling too because we don't know how good Kyrie and Kevin Durant is going to be right now, but at least they do have Kyrie and Kevin Durant. They will have Chris Paul and basically nobody else because if you look at it, the only person that's really eligible to get traded are players that's not at an elite championship level. You don't have a Kawhi Leonard on a trade block. You don't have a Kevin Durant on a trade block. You don't have a LeBron James on a trade block. You got to have somebody with Chris Paul if you want to win the title. But who is that guy that's available? If you wait for who available, yeah, you have picks. Yeah, you have draft assets. But Chris Paul might be aging. So they really have to think this out. You see the way Chris Paul play. You know what he brings to the table. So it makes sense that they'd be interested. But once you get him or once you try to acquire him, what can you do on your part to ensure that Chris Paul can get the best out of being in New York? Because remember, after this season, Chris Paul, years on this contract, declines. So and if that's the case, you're not going to be a gamer guaranteed to have Chris Paul that long. And can he continue to play at this level in the future for that long? We won't know. And that's the risk that you will have to try out. But it's interesting from the Knicks' perspective. I see why they will be interested. I see why they will want a guy like Chris Paul. But I just don't see why Chris Paul, will, out of all players in the world, why would he want to go to, to the Knicks when they have done nothing and never really came close to winning the title in the last 30 years almost. So if that's the case, I'm not rushing to New York. And I'm not in a rush to go to the Knicks out of all organizations in the world. Plus, they just got a coach. They don't even really have a coach that Chris Paul really respects and really sees. And I don't really see a lot of those guys on the um, ability to be signed. It's not really a perfect way to build this team. And I don't really know if the Knicks can get that done anyway because they have failed to do that the last 10, 20 years. So let me know what you guys think, though, about the Knicks trying to acquire Chris Paul. Is it a great decision? Is it smart? Do you think it'd be stupid? Do you think Chris Paul ain't worth it? Do you think it depends on what they give up? Do you think they can build a championship team with Chris Paul as they point guard? Or do you think that the Knicks going to find a way to screw it up and they're going to get a great guy, they're going to get a leader, but they're not going to do what they have to do on their part to get the team to win? And that's what the whole point of the NBA is. But other than that, I really thought it was interesting. It's something that I could have talked to, but I had to cover other topics. But Chris Paul going to the Knicks is interesting, but I really don't think that it's going to really 
you know, benefit Chris Paul in the long run because it is the Knicks. Every time they do something, they either backtrack or they never complete it or they make bad decisions. And they have done that for so long that I don't think Chris Paul is going to change that. And I don't really think any player is going to change that until they change themselves, improve themselves, learn from their mistakes, and just make better decisions, which they have failed to show in the last so many years. So that's the problem. But other than that, it makes sense to want a guy like Chris Paul. And the Thunder proved it. The Hornets proved it. Yeah, the Hornets proved it. The Rockets proved it. And the Clippers proved it. All those teams got significantly better getting Chris Paul. He's not the same Chris Paul, not the best Chris Paul, but he still knows how to win games. And he still knows how to steal games. He still knows how to close games. And he still knows how to go out there. And, and he knows what it takes to go out there and compete. And he has done that throughout his career. But other than that, check out my Facebook page and also playground.com. Link in the description, comment section below. Like on Facebook to show support. Like the video to show support um, at the end of the day. If you liked it already, thanks for the love and the support. Also, check out my website, analysisplayground.com. Link in the description, comment section below. You can subscribe to my website and become a member. It's free. Not only that, check out my spread shirt. You can buy merchandise in my in the comment section below and also in the description um i got everything for you guys so check that out and if you want to buy merchandise through my facebook page i have shirts on display to show you what type of logo it is you can change the color of the logo and the color of the shirt and pick the color pick the logo and change the colors to what you want and you can just message to me and i can get it shipped out to you so that's all i really got to say chris paul to new york is a clever idea it's a fun thing to think about but should it happen no is it best for what chris paul won't no but is it smart for the Knicks? It makes more sense for them, but it doesn't really make sense for everybody else. And I don't really know what Sam Presley really going to want with Chris Paul. Yeah, he has Schroeder. Yeah, he has Shea Gilgis. But that would be a big loss because the Knicks don't have any game-changing players on their roster. And that's why they have struggle. You get rid of a guy that has made the team consistent. And you, and you replace him with a bunch of young players that hasn't really proved or done anything. And a lot of them not really living up to their potential with New York. Yeah, you can say you can change them. Yeah, you can say you can fix them. But that's what every team does. The majority of the time, it doesn't work. They just bounce around the league. So I'm just got to keep it real with y'all. I want Chris Paul to win the title. I want him to compete for a title because I'm a fan of Chris Paul. I just don't think New York is the place for him. But other than that, I'm gone.